Hello everyone and welcome back to Higurashi no no Kakoroni or Higurashi when they cry only Kakushi. Now uh we have just fought an enemy at the front door. Thinking about it, maybe it was just an apparition I dreamt about in my confused state, but I really didn't think it, that was the case. Calm down, Kijimaibara. Compose yourself. No matter how calmly I thought about it, just happened wasn't a bit of my imagination. It was obviously a supernatural phenomenon, and without a doubt something was behind me. It was some sort of illusion I saw amidst my confusion and disorientation. Group, I had to get one piece. When I asked who was it, they inhaled, as if they were about to answer. That sound had clearly reached my ears. The situation was right now was still unclear. Either I had been possessed by a supernatural phenomenon known as Yorishiro Slamas Curse, or it was a ruse by the villagers who believed in it and were imitating it. Either way, their motives their motives were unclear. The roundabout way it had been done was also still a mystery. It was in prefer pre perpetrating by humans that would have meant that it was Rena and the rest of them doing it, but it would be solvable. Oshisa and the rest of the police would surely arrest my enemy, but if the manifest of Orishiro saw his curse, I wonder what would happen. Oshisa very clearly declared the curse didn't exist. At the time, those words were pretty even, as things were now rising in possibility that the perpetrators were not human. He suddenly seemed quite unreliable. I told Oshisa this was the work of Oshiro Sama's curse. What would happen? I couldn't imagine his reaction. It'd be the question of void expanding rapidly between myself and Oshisa. With me having so few allies to begin with, not being able to com confidently declare whether or not this was a curse or not, there was no merit to doing that. Better keep the f to the facts, just what happened at the doorway to myself. Better be I didn't add what happened here in a memo behind my clock. There's still so slight possibility. I was actually confused when I thought I was composed. I'm going berserk in the entryway. Wonder, wonderful. Would that be to really ha what happened? I would refute Orishiro Slama's curse. But if I denied Orishiro's concert, that would mean admitting that Raina and the rest were the perpetrators. If I said that Raina and the rest were the, were the perpetrators, then the, that would be believing in Orishiro Slama's curse. But denying both of those, I would be admitting that, that I myself was losing it. There are three options of which I could become in the trimma of sorts. They mix together and formed a whirlpool in my mind, making my head spin. Once again, I straightened myself and leaned my head back, slightly to cool myself down, calm down, Kichikan. Except what has actually happened is reality. Stop thinking of, of anything more than that. But I couldn't help but think of it. How wonderful would it be if it turned out it was deli I was delirious and everything up until now was a phenomenon of my imagination. Our shadow slums curse wouldn't exist and I would still be the best at studies with Raina and the rest. I would have to be crazy. That's the first time in my life I ever wished for such a thing. Phone call. The phone rang noisily downstairs. Generally, there were no calls for me, so I never really answered the phones not that much. But since my parents were here, I had no choice. I squirmed out about and went downstairs. Hello, this is my Byra resident. Kichi, this is Mom. I intuitively had a bad feeling about this, because I thought she was going to ask me to go out and buy some things. I took the initiative. What? I don't mind having instant noodles for dinner. There's still a lot of them. And the other day we went out on a family whole case of cup noodles. I wanted to get a bunch of different kinds. Actually, I refused since the individual packets were expensive. I said I got a whole case of mega sized pork, flour, and ginger flavored ones I liked. My parents didn't like strong flavors and didn't touch any of them, so the cupboards were still full of them. You see, there's 
isn't really a need to go shopping, right? Michikun, I'm not asking you to go shopping. Both mommy and daddy have to go to Tokyo right now because of work. Huh? Right now? This was abrupt. No, we're already here. We left this afternoon. It's quite a distance from t to Tokyo from Hinemizawa. Going at full speed down the highway would still take six hours. Not has a license, but since he doesn't like the highway, they likely took the train. It would have taken longer. I'm thinking you might understand since you've been speaking to us last night, but it has to do with Daddy's contract. Right now, there are things, things are going so smoothly. As you mentioned it, I didn't remember they talked about the, his job prospects weren't looking so good. Daddy is really sensitive about things like, if we leave things out there, it will affect his work. Part of my father's particular fragile artistic personality. His emotions change as easily as a fall of sky. You could also just say he couldn't take criticism. But something like that could have been done over the phone. Hitchy, this is your father's job, so can you support him a bit, please? Anyway, it's just faster to talk to I uh, talk about it in person, so there won't be any misunderstanding. As I found, there was nothing more I could say once they started talking about work. So we'll be back tomorrow night, Hitchy. Will you be fine on your own? It's not like I'll die or anything. Hey, he shouldn't speak so lightly of that. There's something troubling you. Just ask. Just talk to us. Believe mommy will be able to help you. If they were to bring up if I died their abruptly said, I'll say we're a little worried. But really more more depressed about the fact that nothing will be solved by telling them. I didn't plan on dying. At least not while I knew, still knew nothing. I never allow it. I won't die. I won't. I'll survive even if I have to gnaw my own leg off. Yeah, see you then. Tomorrow morning, make make sure you to, to wake up and eat your breakfast. And don't forget to take a bath and brush your teeth. Yeah, yeah, see you. I'll end it like that. Sometimes my parents went off to Tokyo for business meeting, but Tokyo was far away. They normally did things by phone. Times where they did go were normally panned out in advance. Never happened this suddenly. I can't say the circumstances didn't sound strange or rather unnatural. Anyway, I needed to recognize the reality of this situation. That tonight, I was only one in the house. That when my parents came back to from work, I'd be gone, missing, vanished. Looking back at the series of events of the previous five years, I was true in Slamas Grace. It wouldn't seem strange at all. I hope to think of it, it was getting pretty late. I didn't think it was good. That the only light on the whole house was from my room on the second floor. Same with Brockas and my enemies. My parents were gone. This was their chance. First I ran to the living room, flicked on the lights and turned on the TV to a reassuring volume. Next to the study, I turned on the lights and some music. With this up and the edge that looked like my parents were here. Once again, I went through the house and checked to see if everything was, was anything left unlocked. Sure, I saw the brand on the laundry still hanging out there. I went pale. That would have made it too obvious. I need to take it down. I saw the laundry haphazardly and race the that my mother wasn't there. Should be fine now. Ah, garbage. They didn't go all the way to Tokyo by car. They gone to up to over oh, like the Garbage was empty, wide open, in plain sight. That was not good. They had to rush back out to close normally open. Garbage store. That should be fine for now. All I need to do is get the paper. Um, always got the paper since that this afternoon the evening paper was still out there. My pronunciation was correct. Pulled out the mailbox and dropped it into the empty array. That's only the first time. It should be fine. Trying to think of it, leaving the cupboard like that was a little freak out. Was bad. Thing I tripped and fell, and the bat was. Well, he smashed it. Even so, just living in its current state wasn't good. I should clean up a little bit before Mom got back and scolded at me. Or the broom in the closet. I was going to get the phone rang once more. Oh, this is my bar residence. Oh, is this Kichikun? Is your mother around? Uh, she isn't here at the moment. You need Kichimaru bar. Don't reveal that your parents are gone. You can't follow up. Still calm down and take care of it. Um, I think she'll be back soon. That wasn't a good response either. Though they might say they'll call 
call again or tell her to call me when she comes back. And that's fine. Isn't anything important? Well, then sorry to bother. The scenario I feared didn't play out and I lifted a sigh of relief. The call was fortunate in more ways than one. I didn't have to deal with telephone calls in my parents' house tonight. I was somehow able to deal with the phone call just now, and I couldn't continue to rely on some poor improvisational. Improvisation. I needed to make up a good story to explain my parents were at home, but couldn't answer the phone at the moment. They, they were making pantura, and I couldn't, couldn't sleep right now. That wasn't good enough. They were sick and went to bed because they weren't feeling well. Was that going to be safe enough? I think about it when the phone rang again. I thought they were calling because they knew I was going to lie. I was about to pick up, but I knew I had to. I expect my parents were here. I should have just taken the phone off the hook on their parent. With the pretense, I didn't realize that it was. But since the phone rang, I had to pick it up. I grabbed myself and lifted the receiver. Hello? I stopped announcing that my virus and I had no reason to be kind to someone I didn't even know the identity of. Unlike my uncle Booth, the person on the other side sounds goofy and lighthearted. Hello, my apologies for calling so late. This is Oishi from Onkinima Bookstore. Oishi san? Are you my bar son? Good evening. Good to hear you are doing well. It's just a moment, please. Grab the portable handset and rush to my room with it. It was the same matter where I was. There was no one else in the home, but I wanted to be in a spot that felt a bit safer than speaking on the phone with Oshisan. Sorry for the wait. How are things? Any changes since then? Since then? When was that exactly? Well, that's some brazen when you talked that read the wrong way. The last time I spoke to Oshisan was three days ago. Day I stayed home from school, when she went back from the hospital and was heading to town. For lunch, and I had to, had a talk. And after that, Raina and Mion came to check on me. I always said to Oishi son, they always knew about it. Like since the first time I met him. The day's phone call was found out by them as well. Hello, can you hear me, my boyfriend? son? Oh, sorry. Um, what did you say? I don't know if anything changed since last time. I didn't answer, so I got worried. Um, uh, um, not really. Words stopped in my throat. There's a ton of stuff that happened. Oh. Uh, stuff that happened. All of it baffling. What should I talk about? I didn't under understand it, most of it. But I should try asking. If I didn't ask now, I may never have another chance. The night my parents weren't home, I had no guarantees. I'd make it through the night safely after all. Well, yes, you saw it seems that someone's following me. Really? Could be just coincidence, but that day I missed school and I was sick. The two of them came to check on me. Which two? Raina and Mion. They started asking about how I had lunch with you. What next? They left some mochi and they came to visit, but there was a needle inside. Fortunately, I, I somehow didn't swallow it. I wonder, could that have been a threat? About the needle, um, is that a common sewing needles you see all the time? There was a whole thread stick through. Not that, my son, the needle itself. That's evidence. It could be used as proof that they were threatening you. Where is that needle? That's right, that's it. I dropped the receiver and rushed downstairs. I tossed the mochi had overlooked it out of terror, but the needle was a valuable piece of evidence. I was certainly throw the mochi and the needle at the wall together. And that was there. That would be in the living room wall. Prudent my mother had cleaned the living room. There was no trace of mochi at all. But it was soft between the gap in the wall and the carpet. Eventually I started turning the palm on my carpet, but nothing turned up. I started moving around the sofa and the desk and the carpet and flopping it around but I couldn't find the needle. Did mom clean up everything? Not that. What was that on? Two days ago, I didn't know what day they collected the burnable trash, but it may still be in the trash bin in the kitchen. 
rushed into the kitchen, opened the lid, and poured out the contents. But even at a glance, I could tell that it would be incredibly difficult to find a needle in this pile of trash. I think for a needle in a trash stack. I know I was running my hand through it. It was gross, but I was looking for a needle. If I felt a small prank, prick, I'd be able to find it. Pretty tactless method, but it w was the quickest. Help me rest and start striking the pile of trash with my hand. Bill flew around and nothing more disgusting than this. All the time they'd be concerned about the details. You know, on for a while, nothing turned up. I wanted to search more thoroughly, but I was on the phone. I couldn't see what she saw waiting too long. Later, when my mom got back, I had to ask her if there was a needle. I hastily began scribbling on a notepad on the fridge with a magnet. Was there a needle? Girl with the words in the red pen. Then I dashed upstairs where I had been keeping her. She's been waiting for far too long. Hello? How did it go? I couldn't find it. I was really overwhelmed back then and... I see. It'd be great if you could find it. Keep it safe. That's right, the needle was the only incident. I tell him about this morning and the hit and run. Also, as she saw, and that isn't all. Actually, this morning... That fan was definitely aiming for me without question due to the circumstance at the time. Did you see the license plate? I can search you from here. Damn. I flipped out yelling at him back then, but I didn't look at the plate. The only reason my part with the needle and the plate number. I was so focused on protecting myself, I let some of the most important details slip out of my grasp. I pushed the pillow annoyed at how worthless I was. I'm sorry, I didn't know much more than it was a white van. Then they fret my virus on, anyone would be shaken up after being hit. Guess all of this was really isn't a coincidence, is it? But she sounds very intense and how off over the out there and I can only imagine him folding his arms. Also, Raina is acting strange. How so? What would what Raina said on the way back home? Asking why I was so much like Satoshi Kun. No, I could say it with confidence. Irina knew what happened to Satoshi. No, there was more to it than him just simply disappearing. Irina knows she knows something regrettable what happened to Satoshi that kid who came away last year. What would that be exactly? Irina said I was the same as Satoshi. But it's something to affect the way that things are going. I'll end up with the same fate as Satoshi. Fate, you say? Exactly what kind of fate did she say? Bit of a fall. Um, transferring out, she said. Transferring out? And Satoshi, Rana said Satoshi transferred out. So given how things are going with me, I'll transfer out too. I son let a stern sigh, then grumbled loudly. My other son, that was probably some sort of threat. I may have some type of warning. I thought so too. But I started to think. It'd be a permanent sum up of everything that happened to me until now. The machina machinations of some human perpetrator. Other than the theory of being Rain and the others, I was left with Oishira as someone's curse actually existing as the only other explanation. Of course, I couldn't tell Oishisan, except Rain's strange behavior to be proof of either strange scenarios. Whether it was Oishira as someone's curse being true? Everything being part of a conspiracy committed by all the villagers? Raina was involved. Raina had to know something. Raina was a suspect. What was what exactly was Raina? Couldn't help but think she was somehow involved with the prior stream of mystery deaths. I seen her recall that she son had admitted he had dug Raina's past a little. He probably was just downplaying it a little. Meaning he'd actually dug pretty deep, most likely. Wanted to hear about Raina. Wanted to know about her previous school. And the other things that were still unknown to me. Raina was someone I should suspect. No, not that. I wanted to know the truth. And I, I was alone in this huge house. Even though I said I could count on them. I lost security and I felt I had just by my parents being around. It was in the house. It was some sort of feudal castle or just a castle if a malicious person decided to use brute force they could easily gain entry and no other residence is close to my bar residence no one would be able to hear anything 
no matter how loud it was. I had never felt this much resentment toward my father's artistic temperament and the fact that he had this house built in such a remote location as I did right now. But I would still be here by tomorrow morning. So I had to ask right now because I had no idea what the next chance would come. Um, I just want to have something to ask you. Please, don't keep anything from me. Sure has to go away. I know he was so far away on the other end of the line. Most reliable he had ever felt. I wanted to ask about Reina. What happened to her previous school? Actually, we're going to ding Reina's. I know this has been going on a while now. Since I was focused on the call, I hadn't paid attention to it at first. Then I realized it was the doorbell. It was 7 o'clock. Past time the postman would make a delivery and pass any sensible time for a neighbor to be visiting. Consider it just acting like nobody's home, but that wouldn't be good. It would have ruined all the work I put in to make it look like my parents were home. I need to answer the door. Hello, my bar is on. Oh, sorry, someone's, someone seems to be at the door. I'm going to go see who it is. I guess I see. My apologies. Should we end this phone call now? That would be a problem. Oh, no, I'll be back in a second. Do you mind if I just leave the phone on? It's fine, I don't mind. I dropped the handset by my bed and dashed towards the door. I need to make up a good excuse to get them to leave. I had a hunch it was the lady who called right before she landed. In that case, it would be one of the neighbors who was friends with my mom. I said mom wasn't feeling well and went to bed early. That would be the easiest option. It's not going to be fucking them. It's hard to ask me why I wake up. She's not feeling well. The bell continued to ring regular intervals. Someone didn't answer after you rang the bell somewhere. Normally, you'd give up and go home, wouldn't you? Without removing the chain, I opened the door slightly, peering out at the visitor. A chill ran up my spine. I knew it. Somewhere deep inside, I prepared for this moment. I tried to escape by imagining the easiest person to deal with was my mom's friends. Good evening. Uh, Raina? Should be any reason for Raina can't come over at this hour. I mean, also made me feel uneasy. Because it was just as I was about to ask what she's on about Raina. I feel like a chopped up. I wish I could have chopped this up to a mere coincidence. But the unsettling words me all served days ago echoed back to me. There's something this old man doesn't know. Are you alone right now? Yeah. This me almost with her. That didn't change the situation at all. Why'd you come here? Hey, can't you come? I think you can open the door so we can talk. Can I come inside, I wonder, I wonder? It was true that speaking through a chain door wasn't the right way to talk to a classmate, but my house's chain was has to be on at night. Don't worry about it. And uh, then, it can't be helped, I guess. And it pounded rather sadly. She kept smiling, at least. And her effort to keep that smile up was a was quite pitiful. Even though she was tugging at my heart, I didn't lower my guard. As long as she stayed like this, even if it made my heart ache, my life wasn't in danger. I really feared more than it was possible. Cliff would assault me if I removed the chain. I was trusting right now enough to remove the chain and having my friendship betrayed. As long as the chain was, wasn't on latch, even if it made my heart ache, Oh, I wouldn't have to deal with being betrayed by Raina. If it hadn't been her move to change, she suddenly urging. She appeared to give up trying and to get into the entryway. Um, have you eaten yet, Kichikan? No, I haven't eaten. Well, I was in there, dinner room would be ready no matter how long I waited. I hid here when I got home. I've woken up by the phone and didn't have a chance to eat since I used all that time talking. I was going to have a couple of noodles in any case. Could just eat whatever I wanted to. Oh, not yet. What about it? Hehe, <laughs> that's good. Look here. I brought some. a bunch of dishes. And it held out of the stack of boxes wrapped in cloth. If you use your kitchen, I could heat out some pieces of soup and other stuff. It's fine. You don't need to do that. But there's a lot of tofu and vegetables in it. I scared you can not like that type of stuff, I wonder, I wonder. 
There's no way I wouldn't light that stuff. Hey guys, sorry I'm back. Um, we're actually gonna leave this episode here. I love y'all very, very much, and I've got to say, hi. Hey guys, this is was the Sheer Reaper, and uh, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified and join the notification squad. Also, check out my Teespring and Red Bubble shops. Links below with my Tumblr, Tapastic, and Amino Nay app name. Thank you for watching. Hit the Patreon icon to help me continue making cool content for you all. Love you guys and see you in the next video. Bye!